The sidewalks are so interesting. It's perfect for my luggage rolling. It's literally so blue here. It's beautiful. I'm in this really cool hostel. It's called Steel Hostel Copenhagen. And it's like a luxury hostel. It's like a hotel. It has a gym and a pool and just so many activities. Love the pastels. This bike lane. Okay, okay. Definitely going into this little thrift shop. Fancy. are so fresh and clean. Wow. They definitely mow this all the time. Lunch. A white pigeon. H&M home. I love it. Oh, I'm for sure getting a tote. These are so cute. Two tote bags. Yay. Ooh, what are these? Cranberries? I've been getting so many signs from the universe. My room number is 422. I got this cute little tote bag. I can't wait to bring it home. It's gonna be for groceries and it's just so me. It's so girly and feminine. And then I also got this tote bag. This is also super cute. In total, I spent 65 Danish crown, which is probably about $10 maybe. A really good deal. Sorry for the weird towels in this hostel. It's not mine. But the thing that I love about solo traveling is I can literally do whatever I want. The first thing that I like to do when I first get to a location is walk around and get a feel for the area. Not me pre-gaming before my date. Okay, I changed into a super casual fit using my suede bag. But I'm not bringing my camera. I'm bringing my phone though. Just kidding. I'm bringing you guys. I'm probably never gonna see this guy ever again. <laughs> I don't know how to open this. Oh, <laughs> retro seats. Looks like the galaxy. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. It's like a galaxy. <laughs> the chairs. It's like very retro and groovy, and it just feels like you're an astronaut. I had to press the button. If I don't press the button, it will not open for me. I'm too short for these doors. I have to like do that. So short. After like the fourth bus, I'm finally going the right way. I'm literally like over 30 minutes late, as I should be. Fries on the beach. Palms on the beach, actually. Finally made it. Cheers for the vlog. Cheers. Oh! This is. Wait, I want to live here. It's so cute. <laughs> was naughty. I had matched him. Now I'm doing a face mask because I'm literally hungover. I'm gonna go get some noodles. I'm not sure if this is the same waistline as the one in San Francisco. I think it's the same. Oh, would you like to see? No. So many vintage items. So yeah, the day yesterday was kind of eh. He told me that I remind him of Emily from Emily in Paris, which was so funny because he said I was so American. Please keep me alive. Vegan curry. A Mercedes garbage truck? So cool. Wow, this is so cute. These little mushrooms. I want one. This mirror is so cute too. Everything here is so cute. Wow. The decor is so cute here. I'm so sad. I want everything. BRB shipping everything home to me. Oh, so cute. We need a store like this in California. ASAP. Not sure why, but I really want this pink towel. I need this at home so I could do laundry. I love the colors. I'm really thinking about buying a bunch of things and shipping it back home to me. I got some goods. Definitely shipping some stuff back to me. I'll show you guys a haul later. Being a tourist today, I'm going on a train tour. Starbucks here is so different and good. They also don't use the app here. I got a coconut refresher and it's stunning. Mm. The first thing that I got was this picnic bag. I'm so excited to bring this back home. And then I got a bunch of little clips for laundry. I got this purple one, this cute green one, and then a clear one. This is what got me. I was like, yup, I am taking this home with me. It says, get naked. Isn't it so cute? I also got three of these fake candles. They're so aesthetic. I never want to light my candles because they're so cute. So these are just so perfect. I also got this pretty clip. I'm not shipping this back home. I'm definitely using it here. I'm also not shipping this one back home. It's just a little pouch so I can use it in my tote bag. And then I got this vase. I don't want to unwrap it. So I'll show you guys when I go home. The train system is so confusing here. 
I literally don't know which way I'm going. Yeah, I took the wrong train. I don't know where I'm going. No matter where I go, it's beautiful. Whoa, this is a beautiful building. Okay. How pretty. Going into Freetown. Whoa. So this is the area where it's free. You can do whatever you want. You can smoke a lot of weed. A stairway to nothing, to the tree. Ooh, it's lit over here. It's literally a skate park. This is so sick. Bibliotech. I'm hungover, but I had to get this in honor of being here. A beautiful lake. I love this town. Give spooky vibes. <laughs> Reading and having a lovely meal. Beautiful lake. I made it to my Airbnb. Woo! It's super cute. It's really big too. Here's my big room. I have a really cool view too with a bunch of plants right here. Okay, I made it to my first flea market. It's actually really tiny. Maybe because it's a Friday. This cute little cafe. The decor is so cute. Just finished my book. Yay, less things to carry. I found a random flea at a beautiful section in Copenhagen. So cute. I'm so excited. Yum. That donut was so good, but I'm back at the Airbnb. I need to do laundry and maybe change, but I want to show you guys the rest of my Airbnb because my host is actually gone for the weekend. She's at her boyfriend's house and it's very historic, so let's go. Oh, I love this little lamb. This is the hallway and then I want to show you guys the bathroom. It's really interesting. It's very old school. So it's really tiny and old school and you have to flush it with this plug right here. You just pull it down and there's a little mirror right here and then here's the living room. So cute. I love it. My host's room is over there. My room is over there. Don't mind the mess, but this is it. And then here's the kitchen. Also, the bathroom is kind of crazy. The shower is literally right here, like next to the washer and the sink. Like there's no actual like curtain or whatever for it. So you have to use a squeegee to let the water run down the drain. And then I love her view. It's just a view of the other apartments, but it's a pretty view. Also, there are nine flights of stairs. The Airbnb host had to help me. It was such a struggle. Back in the free town of Christiana. I'm on the hunt for Droma cake. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm on the hunt for dream cake. I asked people on Reddit where I should find the best one, and somebody said Sunshine Bakery. All right, I'm having my first ever dream cake. Ooh. <laughs> Stoner food for sure. Love it. Donating my book. <laughs> definitely a bike that I would like to have. Apparently there's a jazz festival going on. This is the last weekend so I'm gonna try to find some jazz bands. So I found a store that's similar to Target. It's called Botex. There's clothes, skincare, home stuff, makeup. I got this rice scrub because I need more face wash. I think this is for your face, I'm not sure. I got this cute terry cloth shirt at Fotec. I love that store Fotec, it reminds me of Target. This is really cute and perfect for summer. This is my favorite purchase, tomato ketchup chip. It is so good. Then I got some blueberries and guava juice because we're health queens. And then I got the carrot dream cake, yay! <laughs> I feel like this could definitely be a place where I move. Hmm. There's literally every color of green right now. I love this park. It's so peaceful. It just sucks that there's poop everywhere. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, there's like pacifiers? It's literally a toy donation. How cute. Golden hour here is so beautiful. I found a maze. I'm following the music. Oh, I would reach a dead end. This labyrinth is literally so huge. I literally just want to get out because bugs keep getting in my nose and I see spider webs everywhere. I need help. I can't hear the music anymore. Where am I? I need an aerial view. I need to Google this. This guy in front of the liquor store was staring at me up and down. So I gave him a mean face like this. And he 
got so mad. He was like speaking in Danish and then he called me a bitch. <laughs> so angry, he didn't even say anything. It's Saturday. You know what that means? Flea market time. I think I'm going to like three flea markets today. Honestly, I'm kind of sad because Target reached out to me and they want to partner with me and that's literally my dream brand. But I'm traveling so we can't. But it's okay, there'll be more opportunities. I'm wearing free people earrings, made well dress. The tote that I bought the other day and these new balance shoes that I'm gonna donate soon. Why is their fire hydrant so small? I made it. The perfect flea market snack. So far I've noticed that it's really expensive. That book that I showed earlier, I really wanted it. It exchanged to like $15, which is literally like regular price of books, so not worth it. Oh, this is so cute. It is huge. I love it. Such a pretty view and a nice day. I really want this Hello Kitty main coat, but I don't need it. Off to the next flea. That flea market was so cool. I can't seem to find the other flea market. I also looked on Google. It said it's in a cemetery right here, so I'm gonna check. But why would it be at a cemetery? It's so weird. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. I think it's definitely closed. I got a veggie tofu hot dog. Hello, I'm back at the Airbnb. I ended up getting this Hello Kitty raincoat because it's so cute. I only got it for five, which is about like almost a dollar. It was a really good deal. I'm definitely shipping this back to me. And then I got this pretty tote bag. It's green and just so me. And I literally love tote bags. It's like it's from Ikea. Oh, it is from Ikea. That's so funny. <laughs> for a walk i'm not gonna bring my camera because i'm going just for like my mental health i don't want to carry much i'm just going because i feel like i need a big fat walk right now i think i'm gonna go to a bar tonight and see if i can meet people because why not it's saturday hi i just got back from my walk it was literally over an hour long it was stunning and i went to the grocery store and i got this raffaello ice cream it's really good but it tastes a lot like milk i feel like i would like it better if it was vegan it took me a while to get ready this morning but this is the fit I'm going to some fleas and i'm so excited I stayed in last night. I didn't even go out. That flea was so good. If you want clothes, go to that flea. So I got these cute little yellow pants. I hope they fit me. I got this Zara dress. It's the perfect little green for summer. I also got this bottom bracelet. I think it was like 75 crowns. Llamas and sheep and they're just roaming around here and I love it. Absolutely adore it. J'adore. I love life right now. Still can't find the llamas, but the sheep will do. So I went and got another donate because it's that good. Look at that baby. Mm -mm -mm. I'm about to go to a local bar because it's Sunday and it's fun day. And here's my fit. Super green. Green toes pink shoes and then I'm bringing this Fendi bag and my green blazer I'm going so I can meet people and if I don't then I'm going to just have fun and maybe talk to the bartender just do a little flirty flirty I love this little detail on the side and I just tied it to my pants right here good night my hair is so crazy right now last night was so fun I got so many free drinks it was crazy I met so much amazing people I love myself for that how am I awake at 7 49 a.m. I just spent another $75 to ship my packages. I noticed that stores are always like mazes here. Like you always go through a little maze. Mm. I honestly really miss Swedish food right now. I haven't had like great stunning food here yet. Their dream cakes are really good. This area that I'm in is so pretty. On my way to the beach. What is this? Looks like jello. Summer essentials. Ooh. Trigger warning. I'm pretty sure I got rupee last night. I just realized like a few hours ago. So weird, but I'm just glad I'm alive, but it's just 
kind of scary knowing that it got reviewed. Stay safe out there, ladies. Be aware. Learn from me. Yesterday was so crazy. I felt a little better. I'm still feeling like shit, and I don't really want to talk about it yet. But Suzanne sent me a package, and I wanted to show you guys. They sent it to my Airbnb, so I'm pretty grateful for brands to send me some items while I'm on vacay. That's so crazy to me. Also, I'm really sad because my account on Instagram is disabled right now. It's literally suspended. I tried disagreeing with the decision. They said they'll give me a confirmation in 24 hours, but if it doesn't get approved, then my account is permanently disabled. All I did last night was post a carousel post. There's literally like no nudity or anything in it So I'm like very confused. I hope that my account doesn't get disabled So I got some earrings and it's in this cute little pouch I thought that they were white, but they're actually like a pinkish cream, which makes it even more pretty super freaking fun I also got this halter top because it also has a crisscross and it's backless I never really go for blue, but I had a blue bag and I thought that this would go so well with it and it's super fun fun and cute with the ruffles and it ties right here the straps thank you so much to i love you my bus has been delayed four hours i did not know i was gonna go on a ferry i still feel like shit though i'm feeling 90 percent myself today i decided that i don't want to talk about what happened when i got roofied because i feel like it's just a very personal topic but i'm 99 percent sure i got roofied stay safe out there ladies especially if you're traveling alone i'm now self-aware and i'm mostly sad about my instagram getting deleted so i know there's bigger problems out there but yeah i'm ending the vlog here i'm actually in hamburg right now so i'll see you guys in the hamburg vlog Casual, cozy, moon tourist vibes. I got this. I'm a strong woman. The fashion in Copenhagen is definitely more conservative. Honestly, this is conservative to me. I'm only showing legs and a bit of neck.